conditional That's use. That's a separate vote, right? Yeah. All right. So for the conditional use, is there any other discussion or questions for that? Yeah, right. For the conditional you use, if okay. we can forward through this, there's a site plan. There we go. It's the same property, many of the same issues. However, with the conditional use, there's a site plan involved that's in your packet. We had talked about this length of the work session. I want to stress that this is conceptual. Mm -hmm. um, normally, staff wants a more exact site plan with the conditional use. However, in this case, with three and a half acres, as you see by the layout here, with a 7,500 square foot daycare building, there is still plenty of room to arrange this 18 different ways. Um, OP requires larger buffering than RP. So we're already getting a benefit of an extra buffer to the neighborhood. So staff is not concerned with the site plan here, knowing that it still has to go through full plan review and meet all of the standard development guidelines in terms of access, an arrangement of the parking and the drop off, and so forth. Um, this is one I truly believe that will be changing a little bit on here. Um, one of the requirements is for dual access for a daycare center of this size. One option is to have a second driveway from Chadwick. Another option, which I think is probably the more likely, is a, an access to Interprimitor Road, probably at the southwest corner of this property, in the form of a right in, right out. However, all of that is subject to Georgia DOT, which is sometimes easier to predict than others. But again, this is all engineering related questions. Their engineer will will be earning their keep. Okay. So with that, staff is recommending approval of the conditional use with four conditions. And those are listed on your packet. This is agenda item number eight. First one, approval shall be for a commercial daycare center in OT zoning, the cumulative daycare and possible accessory educational facility not to exceed 10,000 square feet. That gives them a little bit of room to expand. That's taken into consideration their existing use they had stated they are an existing daycare facility and back to school program. They're looking for a bigger place to grow and get all of their umbrellas under one roof. Um, so that's part of the reason there. Number two, playground area shall be set back at least 30 feet from the property lines of Chadwick Place. Number three, the site shall provide at least two points of access to the adjacent street systems or as otherwise approved by the city engineer of the zoning board of appeals to be determined. Number four, finally, conditional use approval shall expire in two years from the date of approval if no business license for the approved use has been requested by that day. Glad to answer your questions on the conditional use. I got a quick, just, just a clarification, not to exceed 10,000 square feet, but you said that would include cumulative daycare and possible accessory educational facility. What they're showing you on this site plan is a 7,500 square foot daycare building. You see to the left is an admin office yeah, building you, that I think is 1,200. Are you charging that? Yeah, that's cumulative for the facility at 10,000. If they go beyond that, they would need to come back through this process. And by that time, they would have an actual site plan at hand. Is that just an arbitrary number is that um, it's arbitrary and then it allows them to expand okay. not a whole lot but at least some limit um, there are not many daycares facilities in town that are at 10,000 square feet there are a few that are bigger but most are not just about half that size which is smaller than what you see the only other ancillary concern is that of traffic congestion on Chadwick Drive so this allows them to get up and running to at a limited size albeit good the big size um, and see how the traffic flow interacts with the streets that are there. And a lot of that will be based on what site plan you end up going with. Matt, only that's a question because I just didn't think of offers or anything and anything to do with educational or. They, they're looking at the possibility of things that OP allows. I think they have a need for their own office. Um, and I think in this scenario, they're showing it being separate from the daycare. Um, maybe that's cheaper than noise attenuation, I don't know. They, they have operated the facilities, they know better than the rest of us, why and how, what works better. Um, but that's why they're showing it on the sideline. Any other questions? 
All right, we'll open it up to public participation. Is there anyone tonight wishing to speak on behalf of the request? Please come forward. Mr. Carter. Yeah. Yes, um, Travis Carter, 3922 Carolina with a K circle. And uh, I want to clarify about the um, office building. We owned in the office building because it's all, like you said, suggestions of parents coming in. We keep all our files there, but we're not only going to have the office building, it's going to be like two offices and a conference room, plus we do our training, like um, training our teachers, have classes and things, so it won't disturb what's going on in the daycare. That's the purpose of the office. And is 10,000 square feet sufficient? Um, square I, footage? Honestly, I don't think so, because um, what, what we're going to do as we build, like we, I know when I grow this building, and we were going to start piecing more on to it as we go. Okay. So I know we were So you understand if, if you have to go beyond 10,000 square feet, you need to come back. Nice. What would, in a perfect world, what would you like to see? Um, perfect world, I'd say about 15,000 square feet. That's a lot of years. <laughs> 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 right now, I'm getting, I'm getting a lot of. I'm doing a lot of things while I'm doing. I'm getting a lot of problems. I'm what like, you see, oh, I'm doing a lot of things with autism, with kids with autism, and I'm I'm broken. And that every because you know, a lot of teachers here, they um they they probably get to a lot, just a lot to it. And I have a lot of teachers, especially at three, that um can manage this type of stuff. So it was really growing in that area. Okay. Uh, and then Matt mentioned about congestion. Do y'all do any, provide any transportation? Yes, we do. Is that like a bus or something, or a van? Yeah, it's a van right now. We need to go watch a movie. Thank you both. Okay. All right, if there are, uh, Anyone else tonight who wishes to speak on behalf of the request? All right. Is there anyone tonight wishing to speak against this request? Anyone wishing to speak against the request? If not, I'll turn it back over to the commissioners for any further discussion. <clears throat> All right. If there's no other discussion. Madam Chair. Yes. I uh, will also continue from the last one that, that the uh, conditional use request. CU 2020-03. Uh, I'd like to follow staff's recommendation and uh, say approval on the request. All right. Okay, and we have a second. Is there any discussion on the motion? That's with the four conditions. Yes. So that's with the four conditions. Yes, I'm sorry, they include the conditions that for staff. Madam Chair, if, uh, Madam Chair, if, uh, Commissioner Bailey is amenable. I would recommend that perhaps we move it to 15,000 square feet at this time as opposed to 10, restricted to 10. Okay. Unless that violates any of the zoning. There's no hard rules on that. Um, staff has a own opinion about that. But right. Sure. Cool. Are you, 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 if you're amenable to that. that. Yes. I, 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 that would be fine with condition one by staff, uh, given exceed not 10,000, our recommendation. Uh, it's not to exceed 15,000 square feet. All right, so we have an amendment to the um, motion. Um, recommendation number one will increase from 10,000 to 15,000, and all the other recommendations stay the same. That's correct. All right. Any other further discussion on that? And does your second still stand? Absolutely. All right. All right, if there's no other discussion, I'll call for the vote. All those uh, voting in favor of um, the motion to approve with that one change to recommendation number one, raise your right hand. All those against, and it carries unanimously.